we are in a very interesting moment that only now the also the stories of women start to go out I mean before uh, 50 years you would not hear uh, stories by women so you would not hear also our stories you know you hear only about how it is to be a man you see cinema with men characters and mm-hmm. They are the heroes, and their problems are what interested the world. And now it's changed. So we are starting to tell our story and also our point of view, which is two different things. It's mm-hmm. also mixed together. But for me, what I believe is the best way to do art is to find the connection between you and the world that is outside. So I'm trying to give them... A power to do films and I said to them if you will just be honest mm-hmm. and be ready to share with the audience a part of your life a part of your heart this is enough to make a movie but then when you are sharing with us think also what is this story saying about the world and No, it's not my way. Um, but I must say, in a way, I think I'm lucky because I, I'm, uh, I have a strong voice mm-hmm. and I know I'm very charismatic. Mm-hmm. I never need to make myself be more manly. And in the set, in my set, it's, I never shout. It's mm-hmm. always, we have fun together. I'm saying to my crew, okay, I'm confused now. Mm-hmm. But if you say, I'm confused, uh, so then it's not. But if you say, okay, listen, I'm a bit confused about what I want to shoot now. <laughs> so I'm doing a pause, uh, go to drink something, I need to think. Of course, still also today in the history of cinema, some masterpieces were made with amazing dollies. <laughs> But I don't think every film that used dolly is interesting or a masterpiece. And a lot of time, people, directors, use dolly just because you should use dolly. And that's the place that I'm asking questions. I never do something just because... You suppose or you can do it. All this movie that move too much, but in fact, they doesn't move at all. Mm-hmm. Like if you put dolly and dolly and dolly <laughs> and moving the camera, it doesn't mean that your film is moving yeah. anywhere. It's maybe completely stuck in the same place. So I'm looking from in other area to to make to understand the uh, Uh, what this film need so in Montresor I didn't move the camera because I said I don't know yet to move the mm-hmm. camera if I don't know to move it like Tarkovsky or Fellini why should I move the <laughs> camera you know I'm still studying mm-hmm. uh, there is also a beautiful sentence that Kurosawa said when he was 80 and asked him how do you do films when you are 80 he said well every time I finish a film I understand that I knew nothing about cinema and I think we can do more modest film, mm-hmm. just less ego, less show off, yes, less for... big stuff. But also I like when women do with big stuff. This <laughs> is also exciting. Some women are like, you know, men in this way and, they, and it's amazing too, you know. <laughs> Why men have big ego? Yes, let's think about that. Tell me, what do you think? Yes, it's, um, you know, the way they walk. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I think they are less uh, connected to, to their feelings mm-hmm. and to what's important, to, to, to modest things. And uh, they need to be, the way that they are secure in the world is to be the most strong, the most... intelligent the most the most the most all the world we do because of ego come on 
If you kill a lot of people, you have a monument. <laughs> so maybe, maybe movies are kind of a more modest monument. <laughs> ah, yes, movies are a great monument. <laughs>